Welcome to the Managing Your Messages video. During this video, you'll learn to open and close conversations, move them within inboxes, assign conversations to other coworkers, and add internal notes. If your business has multiple locations and you have permission to access them, you can send and read messages for each location. Let's start by filtering the inbox so it shows the location we are interested in. Next, we're ready to check out the inbox. You'll notice that conversations are grouped as either open or closed. You can close a conversation by either clicking the Send and Close button when responding to a message or by clicking the Open Close icon. This doesn't permanently close the conversation. If the contact messages you again, the conversation will move to the open list. It's best practice to keep your inbox organized. We recommend moving conversations that have been responded to into the close inbox. Now, let's discuss how to move conversations from one inbox to another. When you receive a message in Podium from a first-time customer, we use artificial intelligence to determine which inbox the conversation should go to. For example, if Jared sends a message asking how to buy a new furnace, that new conversation will be routed to your lead's inbox. However, if Jared buys the furnace and then six months later he sends another text asking about the furnace's warranty, the conversation will not be moved automatically from the leads inbox into the general inbox. You'll need to manually move Jared's conversation. You can also keep messages organized by assigning team members to conversations. Before we dive in, let's talk about some best practices. First, although you're probably answering inquiries as soon as you can, it's a good idea to set a goal for the length of time a message can remain in the inbox unanswered. For example, you could choose 15 minutes or less. Second, you should determine who should respond to messages in each inbox. For example, if you have a sales team, they should be monitoring the leads inbox. Once you've set up response time goals and determine who is monitoring specific inboxes, you're ready to see how conversations can be assigned to specific individuals. New messages aren't assigned to anyone. You can assign them in two ways, automatically and manually. If you respond to an unassigned message, it will automatically be assigned to you. You can respond to conversations that aren't assigned to you, but you will not be the owner of that conversation. If a conversation is unassigned or assigned to someone else, you may be able to assign the conversation to yourself manually, depending on your account permissions. To prevent multiple people from responding to the same message, we recommend that you assign a message to yourself before sending a response. Let's wrap up by discussing how to add internal notes to a conversation. You might want to do this so other team members who work with the customer can have as much context as possible. Let's say a customer, Julie, has declined your maintenance program. Let's make a note of that. If Julie messages again, the team member who responds will know to follow up on how her system is working and if any maintenance is necessary. Now that you've watched the Managing Your Messages video, you should know how to open and close conversations, move them within inboxes, assign conversations to other coworkers, and add internal notes.